So we'll first start. Nice straight spine, feet flat on the floor. Go back into that awareness of connecting to your body in this moment. So close your eyes. And then take your awareness to your feet. Feel your connection from the bottom of the feet down into the floor. And you can even imagine yourself rooting down into the energy of the earth. And maybe think of your favorite place in nature and try to connect to that feeling of being in a natural space where the energy of the natural world helps to balance and feel, fill you with a sense of peace and grounding and connection. And then start to allow that to move through the bottoms of your feet, up through your legs, and, and really connect to the visualization of like moving up your calves, your shins, through your knees, into your thighs, and then landing for a moment in your hips. And feel the sensation of your hips on your chair. Connect to a feeling of relaxation in your belly, in your lower back. Start to become aware of the sensation of the length of your spine. Maybe even try to visualize the vertebrae stacked on top of each other. Become aware of your fingers, your palms, your wrists. Let them soften. Take your awareness up into your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms, your shoulders, and, and feel your shoulders let go a little bit. Let them hang freely at your sides. And then pull your chin in just a little bit so that your neck is nice and tall, feeling the very center of your head pull straight up. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes. Relax your forehead. And again, just feel your sense of presence in your body. And try to maintain a feeling of stillness. Try not to fidget. Try not to feel like you have to adjust anything. And then start to become aware of the sounds around you. Maybe you can hear sounds outside of the room that you're in. Maybe there are particular ambient sounds of the room that you're in. Maybe there's a fan or a heater going. Take a moment to notice the temperature of the air of the room and try to feel the air on your skin, on your face. Even noticing the taste in your mouth, the smell of the room that you're in. All of these different little anchors bringing you into a heightened state of presence and mindfulness in the moment. And you can use any one of these things if your mind tends to wander, come back to your body. Come back to the sensations of being in this room, on this chair. And 
Now draw your awareness to the nature of your thoughts. Now we're trying not to engage with our thoughts. We're just witnessing them. And if your mind is calm, allow it to be that way. If it's a little bit more active, see if you can keep just focusing on your body and your breath to try to find space between the thoughts. But if that doesn't feel possible today, that's okay too. Just accept where you're at. Take a moment to notice your emotional state. And again, we're not here to change anything or judge anything. We're just observing. Allowing ourselves to find a space of acceptance being present with ourselves fully, honestly, in this moment. Now let's take our single point of focus to the breath. So we're not going to alter the breath. We're going to let it be natural. We're going to connect to observing the sensation of the breath as it moves in and out of the body starting from right outside of the tip of the nose. Try to imagine the pathway of the breath as it enters the nostrils, move, moves over the palate of the mouth, down the throat, into the lungs. And then from the lungs, up the throat, over the palate of the mouth, out of the nose. <clears throat> and continue to visualize the pathway of your natural breath as it gently moves in, and out. So just a couple moments here. Again, not controlling anything, but just truly witnessing. Trying to keep your focus on the pathway of the breath. From the tip of the nose, into the nostrils, over the palate of the mouth, down the throat, into the lungs, and the lungs the throat, mouth, out the nose. Beautiful. And now we go into deeper breathing. So we're going to try to send the breath deep into the lower belly. If you need to, as a reminder, feel free to place your hands on the belly. But if you don't need to, you can just keep your hands on your lap. So as you inhale, you're inviting the breath into that space in the bowl of your pelvis. You're filling that area. That's what allows it to expand. And then as you exhale, as the breath leaves the body, that area gently draws back in. Try to just keep it focused on the lower belly. Inhale, expanding down and out. Exhale, up and in. So again, for a few moments, let's just stay here and practice this deep, belly breathing. And as you do, remind yourself that this is the breath that helps us to connect to the natural relaxation response in the body. So the more comfortable you get with this kind of breathing, the more it becomes an accessible tool for you to help you to calm the nervous system center your thoughts and bring yourself into a space of presence. So a few more moments here. Just leave you in silence so you can connect to feeling that breath work within your body.
Okay, now allow the belly breathing to be your starting point, but now you're gonna to try to feel the breath fill the entire torso. So inhale into your lower belly, even feel the lower rib cage and the space beneath your shoulders expand on the inhale and then exhale, releasing it out from the shoulders, the lower ribs and down the belly. So expand the belly, the lower ribs, filling the space between the shoulders. Exhale from the shoulders, the lower ribs down into the feet. Inhale from the tailbone all the way up. Exhale from the shoulders all the way back down. Okay, so continue like that at your own pace, exploring your breath, your body, but do your best to try to stay focused in this practice, in this simple instruction. And make your way back into your natural breath, letting go of the deep breathing. Place your left hand on top of your heart and your right hand on top of the left. Take a deep inhale through your nose, feel your chest expand up and exhale out of your mouth. We'll do that one more time. Inhale through the upper chest. Out of the mouth, let that exhale go. And then release your hands down. And gently blink open your eyes. So start by circling your shoulders forward and back. And remember, as we're doing these movements, it's important to be aware of how you're holding your spine, feeling grounded through the feet, circle the other way. And then connecting the breath to the breath in and out of the nose. Good. Relax the shoulders. Take your right ear to your right shoulder and pick your head up. Left ear to the left shoulder and pick it up. One more time, right ear, right shoulder, this time this and reach the left hand away from you. Try to relax the shoulders down as you breathe into the left side of your neck. Okay, and then lower this right hand down, reach your left arm over and gently lean over towards the right side. If it's too much for the shoulder, you can always place the hand back onto the hip or let it rest by the side. And then take it all the way back up. Take your left ear to your left shoulder, Bring your left hand to the opposite side of your head. Gently draw your ear to the shoulder. Okay. 
and then release your left hand down. Take your right arm over and gently lean to the left. Try to keep connecting to the breath here. And gradually take it all the way back up. Now, take your hands towards the back of the chair, or you can just rest them behind you. Draw your shoulders back, gently reach your chest up. Now, you can do this just by lifting the chest. Maybe you have the back of the chair that you can lean into. Maybe, the back of my chair is probably too high. <laughs> Maybe you can comfortably extend your head back. But the important thing is to try to get this opening in the chest and the upper back without straining the shoulders or the neck. Good, and then gently bring it back up. Now pull your chin into your chest. You can stay here or interlace your fingers behind your head and continue to round into the chest. Make sure you're letting your shoulders go Try to feel your breath in the space between the shoulder blades. And then release your hands down and bring it all the way back up. Okay, now we're gonna do something that's called cat cows. I'm gonna give you a side view, stay where you are, but I'm gonna give you a side view so you can see what we're doing with the spine. So take your hands onto your thighs and you're gonna roll your shoulders back and reach the chest forward, creating a little bit of an arch in the back. And then pull your chin in, tilt your tailbone towards your face and round. Okay, here we go. Inhale, reach it up, shoulders back. And then exhale, chin in and round. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, round it in. One more, inhale and reach it up. Exhale and round it in. Gently unround the spine all the way back up. Okay, now we're gonna do a little twist here. So take your right hand towards the back of the chair and your left hand can come to the outside of your right leg or grab onto the chair. And then from here, make sure the spine is upright, your feet are anchored, your belly is slightly engaged to support the spine and you're gonna twist and look over your right shoulder. Really nice. Keep breathing through the twist. Keep your focus. Keep looking over that right shoulder. Good. And gently untwist back to the center. And now we're going to take it to the left. So keep your feet anchored to the floor. Take your left hand behind you, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Keep your feet flat, lift through the belly, and then look over the left shoulder as you twist. Beautiful. Gently untwist back to the center. Okay, from here, we're gonna take like a really gentle forward fold. Couple options here. You can kind of rest your forearms on your thighs or let your arms hang around your thighs and just kind of drape your body over your thighs. But your feet are a little bit wider apart, about as wide as the hips, maybe even wider. So again, Maybe this is your forward fold, maybe this is, maybe this is, but 
but it's a soft, passive hanging over the thighs. So find the forward fold that feels right for you. Relax your neck. Let go of your shoulders. Find your breath and try to fill the mid, <clears throat> excuse me, the middle part of your back with the breath. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Keep your awareness in the posture. Time as you gently come all the way back up. Good, a couple breaths here. Sometimes hanging the head over the heart creates a little bit of dizziness, that's natural. So give yourself a second to kind of come back to feeling a sense of centering. centering. Okay, so scoot your feet a little bit further away from the chair, right? Instead of directly below your knees, take them a little bit further out. Still keeping the spine upright and supported. Flex your toes towards your face and then press them back down. Maybe you want to do one at a time. And lower, flex, and lower. Take it to the left, and lower, to the right, and lower. Now scoot your feet in just a little bit further, and we're going to lift left heel, right heel and lower, left heel, and lower, right heel, and lower, good. Now, pull the right leg up, try to interlace your fingers under the thigh, and this where in the future, maybe a towel under the leg might come in handy, and it's okay if the leg doesn't come off the floor. You can just try to hold it here. But if you can take it off the floor, maybe try to pull the knee in a bit towards the chest. Extend the leg out. Bend the knee. And take it down. We're going to do it a couple times. Other side. Hand underneath the right thigh. Pull it up. Extend it out. Bring it in and lower down. One more time to the left. Bring it up, extend it out. You don't have to straighten it. Bring it in, lower down, back to the right. Bring it in, extend it out, take it in, and bring it down. Really, really good. Okay. Now, see if you can come onto the outer. So, if you can, scoot more towards the edge of your chair. Come onto the outer edges of the feet so your knees are opened out. Now, if that's not possible with the feet, you can keep the feet flat and create a gentle opening. We're going to get a little bit of a stretch here in the inner groin area, but the feet are closer together. And if your hands can grab onto it, you can push the thighs or the knees out. Just try to keep the spine upright, and we're just going to hold this and breathe. And gradually bring it back in. Now we're going to do it one leg at a time. So, a couple different options. Extend your right leg out. You can bring the edge of the left foot to the floor to get that slight opening through the hip. First option. Maybe this foot can come, come higher up the shin. Maybe the ankle can even come onto the knee. Whatever version you're in, you're going to take your left hand and gently press the left thigh, not the knee, the thigh. Press the thigh out gently. 
So maybe it looks more like this. Maybe it looks more like this. Maybe it looks more like this. But you're applying gentle pressure to get that slight external rotation to the left side. And then let's release that down. And feel free to shake it out at any time if you need to. And we'll do it on the other side. So left leg can be straight if that right foot is on the floor or on the shin. But if you can find that right ankle on the left knee, then the left ankle is directly below the knee. The knee is bent. And then from here, you use your right hand to press the thigh out. Again, you're not pushing on your knee joint. You're pushing on the thigh area. And try to keep the spine upright. Really good. Let it go, maybe shake it out a little bit. Excellent. Okay. Um, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Try to feel as if somebody's pulling you by your wrists and reach a little bit taller. And then bend your right elbow. You can stay here or use your left hand to very gently pull it back. Try to keep the shoulders relaxed. Good. And then gently release both arms down. Shake it out a little bit. Inhale both arms up. Hold here, lift taller, and then bend your left elbow using your right hand to draw it back. Shoulders relaxed, lift through the chest. Beautiful. And gently release it all the way back down. Shake it out. Good. Okay. Take the right leg and open it slightly out to the side. So now you have a wider stance. Extend your arms so that they're, so your hips are facing the side, but we're going to spin the chest to face directly towards the screen and extend the arms out. So there's a little twist going on here. And then look over towards your left side. So your right knee is pointing all the way to the right. Your left knee is pointing forward and you're looking over towards your left hand. Excellent. Look to the front and relax your arms down. Good. Okay. Keep your right knee bent. Now you can stay exactly where you're up, where you are, or you start to extend the left leg a little further back. Now the knee can be bent, or maybe you can start to straighten out. Now you can tell this leg is no longer on the chair in order for me to get that extension through the leg. But like I said, you can stay here, or you can start to reach it out. Now for this one, we're going to face that right knee. You can keep your hands on your hips or you can extend them straight up, but you're facing over the knee. Excellent. And try to feel the sensation of that left hip moving towards the side, towards that right. Release your hands down, bend back into that left knee, bring it back into that position where the hips are open. Stay here, try to bring your right forearm towards your right quad and extend your left arm over your ears. We're getting another lateral stretch from the left side of the body. Excellent. You can keep your gaze forward or if your neck allows, you try to look up towards that left hand.
Remember to keep connecting to the breath. Excellent. Gently bring it back up. Come back to center to kind of balance it out between sides. Bring your feet back to hip width distance, palms back onto your thighs. And we're gonna do a couple gentle cat cows again. You don't have to go into full range of motion, just a couple little openings and roundings in order to get the spine back into balance. So inhale, chest forward, shoulders back, reach. Exhale, forward in and round. Inhale, open it up and reach. Exhale, pull it in and round. Good. Take it all the way back up. Okay. Other side. So now you're going to open your left knee out to the left. So now your hips are open to the side. Right? I, I have a corner on my chair, and my corner is right in the center of my hips. Okay. Now, arms out to the side so that the chest is facing forward. So there's a little bit of a twist going on. Try to reach out to your fingertips. Now we're going to try to look over toward that right hand. If that creates strain in the neck, you can keep your gaze forward. Try to pull your shoulders back instead of letting them sag forward. Excellent. First, look forward and then relax your arms down. Feel free to shake it out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to find that warrior one type of position. You can come a little bit more to the edge of your chair if you need to. And then the legs can stay here or you start to extend that right leg further back. And if that right leg is going back there, you are going to start to feel a stretch in the groin, the upper thigh, maybe even into the ankle. But listen to your body, don't force anything. Now for this one, you want to try to get that hip to kind of rotate towards the left knee a little bit and face that left knee area. Shoulders relaxed. If the shoulders start to feel strained, you can take your hands to your hips or bend your elbows more. Excellent. Find your breath. Gently release your hands down. Take that right leg back so that the knee is facing directly towards the camera. Take your left forearm to your left quad and reach your right arm over your ear. Good. And you can keep your gaze forward or maybe look up towards that right hand. Excellent. Gradually bring it all the way back up, face forward. This time, grab the back of your chair. And again, little opening through the chest, shoulders back, shoulder blades in, lift. And take it all the way back to center, beautiful. Let's create another twist here. So for this one, you can repeat hand to your thigh or bring your palms together to prayer position and see if you can get your elbow towards the thigh. So we're gonna twist, actually, we'll twist to the right first. Beautiful, excellent, good. Keep breathing here. Come up to the center, keep your palms to prayer, twist it left. The center, let's do one more on each side. These are great. Twist it right. Back to 
to center, last one to the left. And back to the center. Excellent. Release it down. Good. Inhale, look over your right shoulder. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, forward. One more. Inhale, right. Exhale, forward. Another soft forward fold here. So try to let the upper body completely go. Your neck is relaxed, your shoulders are relaxed. See if you can get even deeper into the breath. Maybe even feel the breath in your mid to low back this time. Keep breathing, keep folding. Notice where your focus is. See if you can let go just a little bit more. And slowly bring it all the way back up. Good. Okay. So, we're going to end with a breath, another um, pranayama or breathing technique, and then we'll do a final little closing meditation. So we did the alternate nostril breathing last week, correct? Yeah, we did. So we're going to repeat that one this time. Um, so the, the mudra, the hand position is like this. Index and middle finger are lowered, and these remaining three fingers are what you pinch the nostrils with. Now, the hand might not feel comfortable lowering those two. That's okay, right? You can keep those a little sticking up a little bit and the other three fingers pinch the nostrils. If that still feels weird, again, just index and thumb is fine. But it's, a, it's you're not, it's, it's just a very gentle pressure of the nasal flap down. You're not squeezing, you're not, it's just very, just enough to pinch off the air. Okay, so. First, find that seat, that internal awareness again. Take a deep inhale through both nostrils. Exhale out of both nostrils. Seal the right nostril with your thumb. Inhale through the left. Close the left, open the right. Exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. One more round, inhale left. Close the left, open the right, exhale. Inhale right. Close the right, open the left, exhale. Release your hand down, inhale through both nostrils. Now we're gonna release it out of the mouth, let it go. Take a moment with your eyes closed. 
Coming back to your natural breath in and out of the nose. And just settle into yourself, into this space of acceptance, of presence, of mindfulness, compassionate self-awareness. Namaste.